Language is your passport to the world. Learn a new language, become a global citizen, and connect with humanity on a deeper level. This is your host, Mike Lorena, and together we dive deep into the stories and ideas that matter most. Unlock the world through language. Learning a new language isn't just about words. It's about expanding your horizons, enhancing your career, and connecting with people globally. Whether you're a language learner or educator, the Languages Pedagogy Podcast is your go-to resource for expert insights, innovative strategies, and practical tips to supercharge your language journey. Turn in now to sharpen your skills, deepen your understanding, and join a community passionate about the power of language. Wonderful listeners, welcome back to another episode of the Languages Pedagogy Podcast, where we uncover the transformative power of language. Today, we're diving into a topic that connects language learning with something much bigger, our role as global citizens. That's right, we're talking about language learning and global citizenship. So buckle up, because this episode is going to take us on a journey that's exciting and important. Let's get started. Now, when we think about language learning, we usually focus on practical things like grammar, vocabulary, fluency, but there's another side to language learning that's often overlooked. The way it opens doors to understand different cultures, perspectives, and experiences. And when we talk about global citizenship, that's exactly what we're aiming for. Language is the key that unlocks the ability to connect with people from all walks of life breaking down barriers and building bridges. So what exactly is global citizenship? Well, it's about seeing yourself as part of a much larger world where your actions, decisions and interactions have an impact far beyond your immediate environment. It's about being aware of global issues like climate change, human rights, and social justice. And understanding that these challenges affect us all, no matter where we come from. And guess what? Being able to communicate across languages is at the heart of being an effective global citizen. Imagine this. You're traveling to a country where you don't speak the language. You want to connect with the locals, understand their culture, and maybe even contribute to the community. But without the ability to speak their language, how much can you really connect? Language is more than just a tool for conversation. It's a doorway to empathy and understanding. It's how we share our stories, our emotions, and our ideas. When we learn a new language, we're not just learning to speak differently, we're learning to think differently. Let's talk about the power of empathy. Learning another language puts you in a vulnerable position. You make mistakes, you feel awkward, but you also start to understand what it's like for others who are trying to communicate in your language. And in that shared vulnerability, you build empathy. This ability to step into someone else's shoes is at the core of being a global citizen. You start to appreciate the complexity of different cultures and you develop a sense of responsibility towards people who might not share the same background as you. And here's the magic. When we approach language learning with the mindset of a global citizen, it stops being just about mastering a set of skills. It becomes a tool for positive change. 
whether you're learning Spanish, Russian, Portuguese, or Mandarin. Each new language you acquire gives you access to a whole new set of voices, perspectives, and stories. It empowers you to engage with global issues in a meaningful way. Now, let's think about the global challenges we face. Whether it's tackling climate change, fighting inequality, or responding to humanitarian crises, these problems don't recognize borders. They are shared challenges and they require shared solutions. But how can we work together if we can't even understand each other? This is where language learning becomes a superpower. It allows us to collaborate across cultures, to bring different ideas and solutions to the table, and to create real lasting change. In fact, Many of the world's most successful global initiatives, whether it's diplomacy, business, or grassroots activism, rely on multilingual communication. Think about the United Nations or the NGOs, or even international companies. Being able to speak more than one language isn't just uh, nice to have. It's essential for creating meaningful global partnerships. And as a global citizen, your ability to communicate in multiple languages means you can be part of these conversations. But let's not forget, language learning also gives a voice to those who need it most. Think about how powerful it is to give someone the ability to communicate in a language that gives them access to education, jobs, or political participation. For people in marginalized communities, learning a global language like English or Spanish can be life-changing. It opens up opportunities that might have been out of reach before. And then there's the flip side. The importance of protecting and valuing all languages, especially those that are in danger of disappearing. Being a global citizen doesn't mean only learning widely spoken languages. It's also about recognizing the value in every language, every culture. Every language is a piece of human history, a way of seeing the world that's unique and irreplaceable. So as we learn new languages, let's also celebrate the diversity that makes our world so rich and vibrant. Now, let's switch gears and talk about technology. We live in an incredible time where learning a new language has never been easier. Apps, online platforms, language exchanges, they've made it possible for anyone, anywhere, to connect with others through language. And technology is playing a huge role in shaping global citizenship. Social media, for instance, lets us participate in conversation happening all over the world, often in multiple languages. With just a few clicks, you can be part of a global community, whether it's discussing politics, sharing ideas, or collaborating on creative projects. Technology has made the world smaller, and language is what makes it all possible. But it's not just about learning a language for yourself. As a global citizen, you can use your language skills to help others. Think about it. If you speak multiple languages, you can be a bridge for those who don't. You can help connect people who might not otherwise be able to communicate with each other. And in a world that's so interconnected, this is an invaluable skill. So how can you embrace language learning as a path to becoming a global citizen? Start by recognizing the impact you can have. Every new word, Every new sentence you learn is a step towards creating a more inclusive and understanding world. 
make it your mission to not just learn the language, but to engage with the culture and the people behind it. Practice empathy. When you speak someone else's language, you are showing them that you care about their world, their experiences, their reality. And here's a practical tip. Don't just focus on language skills in isolation. Use your language learning to explore global issues. Watch documentaries in a language you're learning. Read news from different parts of the world in that language. Engage with communities online who are working to solve global problems. Language is your passport to understanding the world. So use it. In closing, remember that language learning is much more than a hobby or a requirement. It's a powerful tool that can transform how we engage with the world. As we strive to become better communicators, we also become better global citizens, more aware, more empathetic, and more connected. So as you continue your language journey, Know that you are contributing to something much bigger. You're helping to build a world where everyone has a voice and every voice is heard. And wait up there, totally forgot. New episodes drop every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure to tune in weekly for your dose of thought-provoking conversations. You can find our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. And our website, MikeEnglishOnline.com. Subscribe, rate, and follow us for more. And well, we just got to the end. Thank you so much for joining me today. My great listeners, keep learning, keep growing, and keep embracing the power of language to make our world a better place. Until next time, stay curious and connected.